you're standing in what will be the ark. How high up do you reckon it will be, the, the top deck of the ark? Maybe two, two moms. Why are you building this? Everyone has an archive of sorts, a diary, a hard drive, even the pyramids of Egypt. I'm a filmmaker, and recently a sort of madness has overtaken me, a fear of losing the footage I've collected. We're all asking in some form, what from this world is worth saving? Why don't we have the story of every person who's ever lived? I started this project called Memory of Mankind, Mom Project. It's not funny. <laughs> You don't have to go into cosmic timescales for us to be less than an afterthought. Nature stores memories with one hand and destroys them with the other. The universe pulls everything apart. This is in our backyard. <laughs> what is it doing? Oh, it's landlocked. <laughs> I want to know this. Are we insane to imagine that anything can last? An arc marks a journey. I'm looking for pharmaceuticals. They can have effects on wildlife. You can go anywhere on Earth and find archives. But here's the thing. By exploring the archive, we change it. When you say the arc, you're talking Noah's Ark? This will go beyond all of our deaths. Look at my works. Ye mighty and despair. It can't get any better. That is poetry.